Hello, I welcome you. Uh, today is 18th of April, Thursday. Bank Nifty, sorry, Nifty expiry. Bank Nifty happened day before yesterday. Today was the day of weekly expiry of Nifty. Now let us see how in a very volatile market also we could have taken the trade. The first thing that we do, we get a first five minute candle and then the low of the first five minute candle minus 0.2611%. That was this particular level 22151.21. Similarly, also calculate first five minute candle high plus 0.2611%. That is precisely 22317.36. See, this is as important as drawing a court in a badminton match or in a tennis match. If you do not have a court, how can you play? How you will come to know whether the ball is in or out? How can you score the points? So you need a quote. So first step is drawing a quote. Now we have drawn a quote. This is the upper level. This is the lower level. If it breaks below the lower level, you will get a big fall. If it crosses above this, you will get a big rise. Many times I have specified it in my previous videos. Also kindly look for them. So this is our quote is drawn. Now just see the four close of first five minute candle 22246. We select the nearest strike price to the first five minute close, and that's it 22,250. Now see always the match in a game of taekwondo or judo or boxing or weightlifting, where or even uh, uh, wrestling wherever the strength of the participants is judge there we have groups lightweight okay better weight featherweight heavyweight super heavyweight it's common a player from a lightweight say lightweight category is between 50 to 55 then the player belonging to that category cannot play with a super heavyweight player who is more than 125 kg that will be, you know, match, match between unequal. It will be absurd. So similarly, you have to group them. You have to see the common price. Now see, we selected the second price for today for common price. Once you find a common price, everything cannot be explained in a 10 minutes video. What is common price? I will require at least one and a half hour to, to you know, explain you what is common price. Okay, so that is not possible on video. So once you get a common price, you simply exchange the high and low. Now you see the high and low of call. Here the high is 50, 50 and low is 38.9 of this 920 candle. That I have simply drawn on put 50 and 38.9. You could see it over here. And the high and low of second candle 49.85 and 38.55. That I have drawn on this. Now, simple, whenever one closes below the lower line and the opposite closes above the upper line, you need to buy. Now, there is a certain rule. We call it vertical candle. Okay. Now, just see red candle high. Now, this is red candle high. Now, between these two, this is red, red candle. This is green candle. Red candle high, 44.45 plus square root of 44.45. Above that, the green candle should close. That has closed. And the green candle low, 40.90 minus square root of 40.90. Below that, the red candle should close. That's all. So a momentum has been created in favor of put. Then you will buy somewhere over here. Now you will set the target. The upper line plus 26.1150, 73.89, uh, then 100%, then 126.1. 1, 1, then 150, so on and so forth. Now you got this particular target. Okay, you got this target of, you just see from, suppose you take the close of this candle 62, to price went to 114. Okay, it's my favorite tagline. Gain and greed has a very little difference. You're getting so many points, you have to book the profit. Now see at 945, where was Nifty? Let's check where was Nifty. See somewhere over here, 945. So close to 151. So we shall wait till price reaches this level. Now on the same chart, you will see price was hovering over here. 
Now the high on put side is made on 1020 candle. You could see high of 129.55. And exactly at 1020 candle, you could see it coming very close to the line. The line is 22.151.21. The low is 22.153.80. Now, in order to judge whether this will be penetrated below, it will go straight away down or it will take a support over here and go back. What we need to do? Just go and check the call and put at 22,150. So that is why we shall go and check. Now remember the timing is 1020. And the closest strike price is 22,150. So here we go. 22,150 call, 22,150 put. Timing is 1020. Now again on 1025, we got a candle which is fit for exchanging that is we call it swapping so now just see here this candle high 51.40 and low 45.05 they have been drawn on put you could see it over here and the same 1025 candle high of put 49.45 and low 40.75 they are drawn over here simple and then you wait again the same thing Again, the same thing. Okay. Here you need to see red candle high, 48.55 plus square root of I. Above that, the green candle should close. And green candle low, 42.35 minus square root of that. Below that, the red candle should close. This is the momentum. Okay. But the skill lies in selecting a particular candle at which or considering the prices of the same, you have to swap. That's the skill. That is the only skill which requires in this kind of a trade. Okay. And then just see, it simply went up and up and up and up. Okay. So all your targets were made. I do not say that here you can wait. But again, there are certain points when you get to that kind of a level. Now, once you got this level, you know the market will go up. It's a superb buying. Even though you will consider this the close is 128 and from there also price went to 174. 20, 20 by 30 points you got from even from this juncture. Okay. Now just see. Now as the price comes close to the upper line, just see. Everything is drawn only after 5 minutes. Now the timing when it reached or touched the upper line is 12.15. Now let's see what happened at 12.15. See this is it. 12.15. Now you don't know again whether, just like we did here, whether this will go up or not. We don't know. Okay, we don't know. Before that, so that we can use, before that we use this. Okay, before that we use this. Then if you're not too sure here what is happening, you have to book the profit. So you could see the first trade was this, where you earned this much. So that was in put. Second trade was in call. Here you earned this much. Okay. You need to book profit. Now, how to trade trade this trade that you, you should know and see at 22,300. 22,300 call and put. I won't show you that because then you will understand nothing. You know, we have seen two trades. Okay. Now, let me show you one aging aspect. We are still on the same chart. And see what has happened here. Never ever after we hedged on 1025 candle, see on this candle, the price went down, price went up. Now it is the other way around. See here the price went above the upper line and price came below the lower line. Expiry day after 1 p.m. or 1.30 p.m. Whenever you find below both are below the lower line. Both should be below the lower line. Exact timing. See here they are not below the, the lower line. Here this is put is below the lower line. Call is much above. You see this particular candle. Just see. On call side lower value is 40.75 and the close is 33.95. On put side the lower line is 45.05 and close is 37. So both are below their line there is a possibility of jackpot. Okay, popularly the YouTube, uh, uh, what should I say, the content maker call it a hero zero strategy. Buy both. 
So at the end of this particular candle, any time, say this was the candle, this was the candle, you will see on this three candle, price of both call and put was below the lower line. I will just consider this candle, the first candle when you came to know about it. And I will just for the brevity of calculation, just consider the closing price. So call side closing was 33.95 plus put side closing was 37.75. So to show together the it was 71.70. Now if a momentum comes, now how you will know whether the momentum will come or not? See the timing. 14, 15, 15 minute past two. Let's go and check. 15 minute past two. See precisely here. It's a very crucial line, 22151. Either way, the market will go definitely. Either that will go up or down. Whichever way it goes, you are going to make money. Simple. Crucial things, nifty at a crucial level and options below their respective lower lines. Buy and see where the price went. Here alone, forget about the 15 paisa cost of call. Put became 174. So your combined premium you paid for call and put 71 became 174.10. That is what Zero zero strategy on expiry day is all about. The beauty of this, I have never ever used any indicator for same. Purely on the basis of mathematics, I have explained almost 90% of the strategy. 10% I told you why can't I expert? Why can't I explain? It will take two hours. It's not possible to physically post a video for two hours on YouTube. Okay. Uh, I mean, these sorts of information is provided, shared. On my Telegram channel also, the link uh, is, uh, you will find the link in the description box. If someone wants to know more about what is mathematical trading, you can contact me on my phone number given below in the link. Thank you so much for uh, watching my video. Thank you so much.